Roses are red, violets are blue. I've got some Pokemon news, and Shovel Knight too. What is happening gamers, this is Bradley here, and welcome back to another news roundup. And to kick us off is that there is a juicy rumor pertaining to Mr. Shovel Knight and Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. So, several days ago on a Spanish retailer's website known as Extra Life, a listing popped up for a Shovel Knight amiibo, which got the rumor mill spinning about Shovel Knight joining Super Smash Bros. Now, it's said that apparently this retailer got confirmation from Nintendo that this Shovel Knight amiibo was happening. But what threw people off is that the box art for the amiibo was actually from a YouTube video series known as Smashify. Plus, it's not exactly the most well-known retailer. I was holding off on reporting this rumor because there wasn't much concrete evidence to back it up. That is, until now. So, now it's been reported that NintendoLife.com, who is a credible source, is hearing from multiple sources within the video game retailer sector that Shovel Knight is indeed going to be joining Smash Bros and that he is going to get an amiibo. Unfortunately, we don't have the names of the sources, but Nintendo Life really can't give them out because the sources would be a big doo-doo. I do find Nintendo Life to be trustworthy. I don't see them just fabricating news just to get hit. And this news is certainly interesting, an indie character joining Smash Bros. Is it possible? Definitely. Shovel Knight is a very well-liked character with a very successful game, and many people do want to see him join Smash Bros. I don't find the possibility of this happening to be far-fetched. It's definitely in the realm of possibility. I do think Shovel Knight would be a good character choice because he can have a diverse moveset when you factor in the different relics he uses. But really, all we can do right now is guess and speculate on whether or not Shovel Knight is going to join Smash Bros. We don't have anything concrete. Now, one thing I find super interesting is that back on June 30th, Yakko Games made an update on Kickstarter giving us some details about what's coming up in the future for Shovel Knight. And they stated that they've been hearing cries about bringing more exclusive content to Nintendo platforms, considering PlayStation got the Kratos content and Xbox got the Battletoads stuff. But here's the kicker, they said it might not be quite what you expect, but keep an eye out for another megaton announcement soon. And Yacht Club stated in their most recent Kickstarter update for August 25th that this megaton announcement is going to be revealed very soon, this next week. We thought they were talking about Link from The Legend of Zelda or some other Nintendo character making a cameo appearance in Shell Knight, just like they did with Kratos in the Battletoads, but they said it might not be quite what we were expecting. So what if they were actually referring to Shovel Knight joining Smash Bros? <laughs> so after blowing your minds, I'm just going to leave it there. But what do you guys think about all this hoopla surrounding Shovel Knight joining Smash Bros? Moving away from the Blue Burrower, we've got some news in regards to the future of Pokemon. So JC Smith, the director of consumer marketing for the Pokemon Company International, was asked by Nintendo World Report to give a cryptic hint about what's in store for the future of Pokemon. And he replied with one word. Flowers. So, Flowers is definitely vague. It could be referring to multiple different things. Is the next region going to be centered around Flowers? Is the main Pokemon for the next game going to be a flowered Pokemon? Or is it referring to the AZ guy, A's, As, however you pronounce his name, the dude's like 500 feet tall in Pokemon X and Y? We don't know. If Flowers is referring to the AZ dude, maybe we're going to get Pokemon X2 and Y2 as a way to continue the trend from black and white. If you guys do have some super dank ideas about what Flowers could be referring to, leave those in the comment section below. Nintendo World Report didn't stop there. They threw another hard-hitting question at Mr. J.C. Smith. They asked if Pokemon Tournament was supposed to be the main attraction for the franchise's 20th anniversary in early 2016, and he replied by simply saying no. He did follow up by saying, there's lots of stuff planned for the 2016 year, but nothing I can talk about now. So it sounds like there's going to be a new Pokemon game that's bigger than Pokemon Tournament that's going to be coming out in 2016. And I think it's going to be a new entry in the main Pokemon series that probably has to do with flowers. I do think it would be neat if they made it a new 3DS XL exclusive so they can use the extra horsepower and that way the 3D effect doesn't chug at 15 frames per second but it would also be divisive since most people do have a regular 3DS. Since it is going to be the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, it is pretty monumental, so hopefully they have some pretty awesome stuff in store for us. And as a way to round this video off is that we now have confirmation that Minecraft is coming to the Wii U. Did I say Minecraft? I meant Minecraft Story Mode. Yes, Telltale Games has confirmed to The Verge that Minecraft is making its debut appearance on Nintendo platforms with Minecraft Story Mode. Story Mode is definitely not the Minecraft that you're familiar with. It's a story-driven adventure game that is similar to the other games Telltale has made, like The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, and so on, where the decisions you make in the story will affect future events. 
Minecraft Story Mode is going to be divided into five episodes, with the first episode scheduled to release by the end of the year. We don't have a specific release date though. I'm not a big fan of Minecraft, so I don't find this particular news exciting, but that's just one man's opinion. If you're a fan of Telltale's adventure games and you like Minecraft, then Shawamo, you're probably excited. Maybe. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add to your favorites and all that good stuff, and you can stay tuned for more videos in the future. Don't forget to go check out my most recent video review for the Wii U eShop exclusive game, Rumbo, which is quite colorful. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!